Welcome back, guys, to the mellifluous tones of L96, the cat, bringing you all the deep, bardy, traditional songs of Skyrim. Now, we're back in the adventures of Lingso the Night Cat. We're standing outside of our next objective, this little fort right here, which we have been tasked with the charge of infiltrating and killing everyone. No, here's the quest we're going to do. Stealing plans. We've heard rumors of a silver hand lieutenant camped at Trevor's watch. If I can steal their plans, we could track down their chief hideout. Yeah, steal the plans from Trevor's watch. That's what we're going to do. That's what I'm going to try to do. And we're going to try to infiltrate it a little bit stealthily since um, this is a... St the objective of the quest is to steal. So we're going to try to be a little sneaky. See if we can't get in here. I wonder if it's even possible to steal the whole thing without killing anyone. Like uh, Thief, the uh, the Dark Project style. We'll see. We'll see how far we get before people start noticing us. We would have to go in... Is that a gate? It looks closed. Trava's watch discovered. Is there a way to open this? Maybe just from the other side? Probably. It would be my guess. Someone just said, where are you? Do they already see me? Or maybe they, did, they just heard me. They don't know where I am. Otherwise, they wouldn't have said, where are you? They would have known. I could just jump over that... Oh, there's somebody right there. I could just jump over th that lip right there, but... I try not to use the uh, the jumping mod to sort of break the game. I, I do it every once in a while, but not very often. We could we could probably come up through these rocks here. Let's do that. That wouldn't break the game. You could totally do this without any kind of jumping mod. You could just go here and then right up into the back of the fort. Okay, we've got to go through a door. Very sneaky. Yeah, I, I will kill people if I need to, but uh, just for fun, let's try to steal the things without getting caught and without killing anyone. Thieves Guild style. Okay, there's a watch person there. She's turned around. Took a little damage. That's fine. Don't care. Not very much damage either. Oh, there's somebody. Okay, turn around. Go the other way. I'm in the shade here. So I should be hard to see. Where's this door? Oh no, is it up there? No, it's right here. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Step one, infiltration. Step two, infiltrate some more. So we need to go this way, but I see a treasure chest back here, and I have to look in this thing. Oop, a little bit of gold. Teeny tiny potion. If I need to, I can always fall back on... Let's actually equip it. I can always fall back on Shadow Cloak of Nocturnal. I also have the Shadow Stone uh, equipped, so or active or whatever. So I can actually, I actually have two times invisibility. I also have potions if I need them. And if I, oh boy, if I ever um, go down a magic tree in terms of the uh, the, the skill points I use, probably the smartest thing to do would be go down the tree that gives you invisibility to augment my thieving skills as overpowered as they already are. I think, do we, we probably have to go up, up that staircase I just passed. Uh, let's look around for any kind of treasure that's easy to get before we go, though. If I see a guard, I'll probably just turn around. Hmm. Not much down here. Oh, that's a trap. I'm not, I don't set off uh, pressure plates, though. Wooden door. Just a coin purse left in the middle of the ground here. And a cave-in. Lovely. 
some oh another coin purse okay wizards oh now that's power bet they got that secret magic can turn wood to gold yeah wish i could turn wood to gold huh so there's somebody in there Let's take a look. Somebody in here. There's a treasure chest. Nya, nya, nya. <laughs> are you going to come out or are you going to stay in there? You're going to turn around. I could just kill him. I mean, that would be beyond easy. But since I decided to try to play it stealthy. Okay, go... Whoa, what happened there? He just sort of warped. Okay, buddy. Go back over there. You're... Okay, that's weird. He's sort of teleporting around. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe he's a... Uh, some sort of night creature. Never mind. Let's keep going. Let's go up the... Oh, and I just noticed that the quest marker doesn't have a door around it, so... Yeah, this is definitely the right way. Let's see if this guy does anything. Are you going to move? Sneak... I may have to use my invisibility here. Anything on this table? No. Okay. Shadow Cloak of Nocturnal is active. Shoom! We are invisible. We should be able to sneak right by this guy. Like so. Ooh, look at this guy. We've got a minute of invisibility. Oh, we made it. Ebony armor. Hide boots of minor sneaking. Sure, I, I'll sell those. Orcish boots of brawn? Nice. Or is that me? I'll have to look at those. Silver hand stratagem. And I'm still hidden, so let's come over here into the corner. What was that? Don't see me. Don't see me. Okay. <laughs> they see me, or they're go they're about to, so. This will give me 40 seconds of invisibility. I want to read this book, but it's going to break my invisibility if I there? do. I have to wait for them to forget about me. I want to steal everything, too. Don't forget about that. Should I just kill them? Should I just kill everything? There we go. And I'm still invisible. I do still have, uh, I still can use the Shadow Stone if I need to. Let's go ahead and save it here. Um, if, if I can't uh, sneak my way f and, and steal things, because look at this, Fortify Enchanting 4, I want that potion for sure. Huh? You gonna see me? What was that? Come on, man. I've got sneaking level 100. And I'm in the what shadow. Forget about me. No! No, no! Damn it. <laughs> Twin secrets. Okay, apparently I've already seen that. Ooh, and there's a knapsack over here. Uh, let's see, what do you got here? A gold ring. Okay. And then... Let's go ahead and use the shadow stone. Invisibility for 60 seconds. What was that? Just me. What? Okay, that's Someone more invisibility. I wonder, let's... I want to try pickpocketing that guy. Should I just kill them? Should I, <laughs> that would make apothecary oh, satchel. Hmm, nothing here after all. Ooh, okay, I think I'm safe from here. So I can probably steal here. Dart wing. Wait, was it... Hang on a second. Don't see me, guy. What about this book? Okay, let me 
Let me back up here. All right. Uh, what did I want to look at? I just picked up an alchemy ingredient. It was that bug. No, no, not this one. It was another one. I thought I saw one that uh, all four were unknown. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just imagine that. Okay, I guess not. Okay, let's uh, go back into my inventory. I wanted to also look at those boots I picked up. The boots I've been wearing for increasing my equip load are... Hi, no, not these. Um, the leather boots of hauling. They increase, increase carrying capacity by 30. And the ones I just picked up are the Orc Orcish boots of brawn. They increase carrying capacity by 40. So that's better. Even though they weigh five pounds more, they increase it by 40, so that's a, uh, a net gain of five pounds. Woohoo! <laughs> um, I would like to try pickpocketing these guys, though. So am I wearing necklace of peerless deft hands right there? Okay. Let's try pickpocketing these guys. So far, I haven't attacked a single person. Cure disease. Yes! You didn't need that stuff anyway. Okay, now the real challenge here is gonna get by that guy. Gonna be to get by this guy and pickpocket him. Him, right there, right there. Okay, so we gotta wait. No, no, come on. No! Alright, so I'm gonna come up to this corner, which he doesn't patrol by for some reason. Okay, here we go. Okay, what do you got for me? Soul gem. Time to end this Damn it! <laughs> I got caught pickpocketing. Okay, I pushed my luck too far. Let's just I just don't need to steal like one or two things. Okay, well we'll quick load again. Normally I just kill the enemy, but I'm trying so hard to uh get through this area. There, that's enough. Over here. Oh, he saw me, damn it! Guess I have to be quicker than that. Okay, we're we're just gonna take that. There's someone there? No. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Come on, close that eyeball. Close the eyeball. Close it. Yes. Ah, good. I pickpocketed both of them. Maybe I should try to pickpocket everyone on my way out. Uh, let's check the quest journal. Return to Ela. 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 Um, and I didn't. You know what I didn't do is I didn't look at the document. Let's read their plans. Oh, and I need to go by my house to drop off all these books. Which uh, which one is it? Where? Twin Secrets? No, that's not it. The Ransack, uh, Ransom of Zarek. The Marksmanship. The Importance of Where. Theorem, Shadow Marks. Orsinium and the Orcs. I might want to read that later. That one sounded interesting. Last Scabbard of Akrash. Bounty Giant. Battle of Sankratar. Huh, which... Oh, maybe it's... Hmm. I didn't see it in there. So, oh, here it is. Silver Hand Stratagem. Oh, I can't read it. That's freaking stupid. <laughs> I want to read. Oh. Whoa. Hey, buddy. What do you have? Get some gold for me. And a potion. See if I can buy him. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> Just roll right by. Okay, we got out of there. Um, now to get out of here, we have to go. You know, I I never did steal what's down here, and it that just mm, that irritates me. I think we need to try to once again steal what's down here, even though this guy was like teleporting around and being weird. 
Maybe there's like a stone of Baron Zaya in here or something. Gold lockpicks, stamina's. Oh, no. no! Keep going. Okay. Uh, never mind. Um, <laughs> at some point, I may actually try to finish the Stones of Baron's Eye quest. And I think they're scattered all around, so you have to do basically every quest chain in the game to finish it. And I've done most of them at this point. I think the only major one I have left to do after the companions is to finish up the the mages guild so maybe we'll do that I guess okay so we made it out of here once we get out of here we can just fast travel but that wouldn't be very sporting let's actually sneak out of the castle it's kind of cheaty can I go down into the sewers no that would be nice I bet that's an exit right there So let's actually sneak out of the castle then, instead of just warping away. I wonder, is it, if is there a way to open that? And if so, where would it be? Let's look for a lever or a switch or something. I don't see one. Maybe, maybe that does not open. Okay, never mind. So let's just go over the edge of the wall. And then once we, whoa, there's a guy right there. Run this way. Sneak by, sneak on by. Once we get uh, outside of the castle, where we're out of the range of their guards or whatever, then we will fast travel. Challenge accomplished. Snuck in, snuck out. Undetected, pickpocketed a bunch of them, stole basically everything. So let's let's go back to White Run and talk to Ayla. See what she has to say. Okay, here we go. Mission accomplished. Special bonus objective: don't get detected or be, remain undetected. Um, <laughs> well, I guess. I guess I, I cheated a little bit by reloading several times in order to successfully pickpocket, but whatever. Who cares? I, I don't care. You might care. Do you care? I don't care. All right, here she is, right here I've in front of us. Yeah, good Have for you. you. I got the back. plans. Perfect. Hopefully, this will let us know more about their movement. I think we've got them on the run. Yep. All right. What next? And there is more work to be done, but I fear that Kodlak's gotten wind of our recent efforts. Uh oh. He's asked to see you. My advice, always be honest with the old man, but don't tell him anything he doesn't need to know. All right, fine. Started Blood's Honor. So we finished that. Now we have to do Blood's Honor. Codlock White Man has cut wind of my secret missions with Ayla and has asked to speak with me. Speak to Codlock White Oh, you know what I didn't do is I didn't use the wolf form because we were being uh, super sneaky. And the parts I've rescued still aren't showing up there for some reason. Okie dokie, Codlack. Whereabouts are you? There you are. Hey, buddy. Thank you for coming. You are old. You wanted to see me? Yes, young lady. Have a seat. Okay. I guess. I hear you've been busy a uh, I heard Dad, I know what you've been up to. Oh. Mind you, it's no business of mine what each companion does in the name of honor. Well, good, then shut up. But this sneaking around. Oh. It does not befit warriors <laughs> of your standing. I thought it was Ayla fun. He knows better, and so should you. In any case, I have a task for you. Of course you do. Have you heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? Uh, if you told me, I forgot. It would curse, yeah, here we go. Curse laid upon the ancient companions. Or a blessing from here scene. Let's do that one. Aye, that sounds like it. As in all matters of faith, though, the reality is more complicated than one believer would tell you. Okay, fine. So what's the truth? The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. 
He made a bargain with the witches of Glenmoral Coven. If the companions would hunt in the name of their lord, Hirsin, we would be granted great power. Oh, so. Okay, and they became werewolves. They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment like anyone else. But we had been deceived. Okay. Uh, aren't we more powerful now? The witches didn't lie, of course. But it's more than our bodies. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies. It seeps into the spirit. Oh. Upon death, werewolves are claimed by Hirsing for his hunting grounds. Oh, really? For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. And that is their choice. But I am still a true Nord. And I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit. Well, I'm a cat. And I don't. That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us. And only their magic can release us. Aha. Uh -huh. They won't give it willingly. But we can extract their foul powers by force. <laughs> I want you to seek them out. Okay. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Okay. Strike them down as a true warrior. Okay. And bring me their heads. Okay. The their abilities. Okay. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. You got it, buddy. You got it. Shall be done. Good. Now move quickly. And don't leave any of them alive. All right. Talos guides you, lad. You got it. You got it. Okay. How do I get up? There we go. And how do I steal this without you seeing me? Oh, I'm hidden. He's not very observant. No, Some I'm detected. I dream about the mists of what? Oh, darn it. Why'd you switch chairs? Here's an old trick from Marwyn. Go into the corner like this. Now I can't see the uh, coin purse. There we go. Death bells I don't need. Song of... I will take that book because it's expensive. Like so. Little sneaky sneak. Then you can do this. When you get to be my age, you'll come to miss the smell of blood. Oh, Strange. okay. No. Stop looking at me. Look over there. Look over there. There's a coin purse here and I want it. Look away. There we go. <laughs> ah, stupid old man. Okay, and what's in here? Oh, I looked in these, and there's nothing important in these. Just dwarven weapons. Okay, so we have a new quest. Ooh. Gotta steal it. Gotta steal it. Chipoko man. What about this one? Empty. I guess I already got to that one. So we have a new quest, of course. Did I steal from this one? Yes. Okay. And there's not a ton of gold in this place. Anyway, a bunch of cheapskates. Let's head out into the main hall again. Okay. And let's look at the quest log, see what what he told us to do. We are now on Blood's Honor. As part of his quest to cure his lycanthropy, Codlock White Maid has sent me to kill the Glenmora witches and bring back their heads. Okay, so we spoke to him. We have to collect a Glenmora witch's head and optional wipe out the Glenmora witches. That'll be a bloodbath. So that'll be a good time to use the wolf power. So I guess that's it for this episode. We did a quest. We got another quest. Of course, we had a bonus objective of don't get caught, and we completed it. Pickpocketed a bunch of fools. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll continue next time. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.